Hello everyone, in this video, I'd like to discuss one issue and provide a solution. When you are using TI Portal software to download your HMI project to a Comfort HMI, a HMI panel, you will get the missing panel image error, especially when you use the very new version, TI Portal version 16 or TI Portal version 17. But the HMI, this device, this panel you are using come from a very old version. That means the image, the OS image version from this HMI device came from an old version. However, when you use the new version software, TI Portal version 16 or 17, when you try to download this HMI panel, you will find this error, missing panel image. The basic idea that's because the new software version 17 or 16 that doesn't have the image you are going to download, you are going to use. So when you try to download the HMI, you will get this error. If you are not quite familiar with the TI portal, you will feel confused. After all, you are using the very new version, right? 17 or 16. But when you install the TI portal software, other than installing the step 7 and the WinCC Comfort, the version 16 or version 17, other than those standard software, you also need to install an image file that include the HMI panel image files. If you're missing installing those image files, you get this error, missing image error. So you need to prepare this image file and uh, allow the TI portal software to find out this image and download the HMI hardware configuration. All right, let me show how can we solve this. Firstly, I will demonstrate this issue. Okay, in this project, I config TP700. This is the comfort panel, seven inch comfort panel. And when I pick this HMI hardware configuration, for example, I add a new device and from this HMI, and I pick the comfort panel seven inch TP700 Comfort, okay? So as we can see, we can pick multiple versions at here from 13 to 17. Okay, that's very nice. So we can pick the lower version actually. But in this case, I will try to use the 16, for example. Because when I jump into the TP600 Comfort panel, I found the image that's the version 16 version, OS image version, version 16. Okay, so I pick this version 16 version. I click OK. We can see this is the version I picked. Okay, and I config the IP address 192.168.1.83. And ideally, now if I set the same IP address in the HMI panel and I switch the HMI panel to the transfer mode, and from here, if I click the compile and the download, so we should download this HMI hardware configuration and we will download this empty project to the HMI. However, I have the issue on that missing image, so I will demonstrate this. So actually the OS version in the HMI panel, that also 16 version. However, eventually I found they are slightly different. We will see this image version difference, okay? Before we download this HMI, let's jump into this comfort panel HMI. Let's go to the control panel and let's reveal the IP address setting. And also let me reveal the OS image where we can find out this OS image revision. Once we power up the Siemens panel, we are able to jump into this screen. So from this screen, this basically we can call the control panel screen. So first let's check out the IP setting. So we can go to the transfer, double click. And from here, we can see default is select this PNIE. This is the Ethernet port. So as we can see here, the comfort panel, it has two ports. This two ports has the same resource. This is the same logic port, but physically it doing the switch function. And also it has MPI and a perfect bus port. So from this transfer area, we will select this PEIE, okay? And we will select this property and we will double click this pin. And from here, we can set the IP address. So you can select and type in the IP address you like to set. So in this case, the IP address of this panel, I set 1.82. Okay. And the name of server basically doesn't matter. Okay. 
Okay. After we set, we click OK. And after we jump back, we click OK. All right. In the meantime, let's go to this OP. From this OP and go to the device, we can see the current image version. So the image version of this panel, that's the version 16, this HMI. Okay, version 16. Okay, and the touch function, you can recalibrate the touch function. All right, now this HMI panel is ready to download. So now first let me show this issue and uh, I will click the download, okay? So I will pick this, okay, let's click this uh, start search. Okay, the system search this HMI panel and this is the TP700 comfort panel, okay? But in the meantime, you will feel a very weird that because when the system search the PLC or HMI, basically it just take like a, around 10 seconds, however, when you have this issue potentially already, you will find the TI Portal software will try to search the hardware a long time, basically a couple minutes or even around 10 minutes around. So it's super slow, it shows. That potentially shows the system maybe have an issue because the software find it try to download this HMI. However, it find the image doesn't match with the offline, the TI Portal software inside but it take a much longer time than is usual, okay? And from here, we can click the download. Let's try to click download. Download this hardware and this empty project. Okay, to this step, everything shows okay. And from here, we'll see, okay, all right, no problem. We will override this empty project, okay? And uh, component with the different versions. So this TI portal definitely find some difference between the software and the hardware. Okay, let me see this detail information. All right, so we will see the runtime has a following version 16 point this version, but the real hardware, it actually has a slightly higher version. Okay, even this main version, they are the same, but the system still finds some difference. Okay, we turn to ignore this and let me try if I Turn on. Okay, we acknowledge this difference and we try to match this version. Okay, let's click the download. If you have some experience before, basically when the TI portal has a different version with the hardware, the TI portal will try to download the flash the HMI firmware and try to match the firmware with the software and then download the project after. So we will try to use the similar way. We hope the TI Portal software can download to flash this HMI real hardware to be the same as the software, TI Portal software. Let's try to downgrade the firmware. Okay, let's click. Then we'll find this error here. So we will see it found the error and uh, download fail. So it shows download has failed due to the missing panel image please install the missing panel images. Refer to the documentations. Definitely our software system that missing the panel image file, it tried to download. It can now search that version 16 image in your TI portal. That's super weird, right? We are using the latest version TI portal version 16 or 17. However, when you try to flash this HMI image, it doesn't have that image. So actually that image come from one a huge file when we install the software. So if we record, if we go back to the support of Siemens the website, we go to this ID 10978 okay? And uh, when we download the software, try to install the TI Portal version 17, basically firstly we will download the step seven professional and uh, safety and uh, WinCC portion. So you can download the WinCC Unified or WinCC Professional. You can pick one of this group. I installed this group and the DVD one that includes everything, the TI Portal Step 7 and the WinCC portion as well as the safety. And then most of people will ignore the DVD 2 and the DVD 3. As we can see here, the DVD 2 that includes some open source software and the tools, this. DVD 3 and 4. This includes 
the WinCC panel images. This is the image I'm looking for. In this ISO DVD, it has installation file. Once we install the program, it can install all the HMI images to your TI portal. Okay, let's firstly download these images. All right, after we load this ISO file, we'll find this panel images. Okay, let's open this DVD and we'll find there's one start, this installation start. Okay, let's install. But before we install, we better close the TI portal software. Okay, and before I install this panel images file, and let's go to one folder. So let's open this PC and uh, go to the C and uh, go to go to program files, go to Siemens automation and uh, go to TI Portal 17. So I'm using TI Portal 17. Then let's go to data and uh, go to HMI and then let's go to the transfer. So basically when we try to download one HMI hardware configuration, the TI portal will search the folder associated with the version. For example, in this case, I configure the version 16, the HMI OS image version. Then it will go to this 16, this folder. It will search the image file from this folder, version 16. Apparently, the TI portal version 17 can now search the matched OS image file from this folder. That's why it shows missing HMI image. So to compare, let's install the panel image file. And after the installation, we will see something will be added at here. Okay, let's install. Okay, after we start this installation, we will see this installation, especially for this panel images for version 17. Okay, and we can click the installation. Accept and uh, let's start up. All right, after we install this WinCC panel images, this DVD, and we'll find the folder I showed you that has been a slightly changed. Okay, let's go to that folder. Go to the transfer. So this is the entire directory. Okay. And uh, this time, if we go to 17, we'll find the system installed a lot of folders at here. And if we go to the images, we'll find this image has a uh, one gigabyte. So it includes a lot of FWF, this image file inside. This time, let's try download again. Okay. So that configuration is still 16. And uh, let's click download. Okay, it search this TP700 comfortable HMI. Okay, let's click the download. All right, same thing. So the system find different version, which is fine. Okay, let's click override. Let's click this feed. Upgrade, okay. Okay, so this time let's try to download. So we'll see is SQ this upgrade, runtime upgrade. So this time we can see the TI portal version 17, it downloaded this OS image successfully. It firstly flash the OS image and then download the project to this HMI, Comfort HMI. All right, as we can see, after we install the OS image files, this is a huge DVD file, ISO file. And after that, we download the OS images and we download successfully. So every time we install the TI portal new version, version 16, 17, and don't forget, we need to install this DVD3 that includes all the OS images, the HMI images file. So if you have any chance to got this error, missing panel image file, and you got an error, can now download HMI. So you can try this way and go to the Siemens website and find out the panel image installation or find out the ISO image files, the DVD, and go to this folder, this directory, I paste here, and copy that image file to the associate version directory, okay? And then your TI portal will automatically search and find out the OS version image. All right, this is the topic for today. Thank you for watching.
Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.